All right, welcome back everyone. So if you look at my channel a couple months back, uh, there is a grain to glass video on how to brew a Belgian style Saison. So if you watch that video, you'll see that I actually modeled the Saison sort of off of um, an excellent industry example of the style, which is the uh, Hennepin Saison by Brewery Amagang. So I happened to find some today and um, I was out beer shopping and I uh, saw this beauty and I was like, why don't we see how my Saison stacks up. So, um, it, I already know that it's not going to really be anywhere close to this, but as far as quality goes, um, and but it still should be interesting to see what that comparison is. So, on the left here, we have my Saison, Summer's End Saison. On the right, we have Hennepin. So, on the surface, uh, here we have 7.9% ABV. Um, Hennepin itself is 7.7. .7. Uh, I believe the malt bills are pretty similar. There's no way to really know what the brewery actually uses with its specific recipes um, unless they publicly make them available, and all the gang does not. Um, however, they do say what spices they put in there, which is uh, the uh, ginger, coriander, orange peel, and um, grains of paradise, and I used the same exact stuff in mine. So, uh, let's just see what it looks like. So, mine first. So, for some reason, I have no head retention. And then, on the game. All right, so let's see. On your left, my right, we have my brew, and on um, my left, your right, we have hennepin. So right off the bat, very similar color. However, the hennepin is noticeably clearer, probably because they professionally filter their beer. Also noticeable is that my beer has zero head retention, um, which is actually different than most of the other bottles that I've had, so it's just been a while since I've had my own Saison. Uh, so hopefully it's nothing wrong with it. All right, next is aroma. Mine's got a pretty substantial, um, kind of champagne-like aroma. Kind of tastes, it smells almost like, uh, like grapes. A little spicy, a little peppery. Okay, totally different aroma on the Hennepin. Um, so this is much more of that kind of classic Belgian yeast character that you're thinking of. Um, so it's got that kind of roundness to it. And, um, kind of getting some pear, so. Uh, taste. Not bad, yeah. Well, it's certainly not infected. Yeah, that wasn't a bad bottle, it's just bad head retention. Um, so yeah, it's extremely dry. Um, very champagne-like in taste as well. Rolls right over your tongue. Definitely not carbonated very well. <laughs> um, that is because I had it in standard 12 ounce brown bottles and I didn't want them to explode though. A little bitter, a little quenchy. Um, you know, it's got a little bit of tartness to it, but nothing too extreme for what it is. I believe the Seeds of Paradise come through pretty nicely, but that's, I can't really pick up on the ginger or um, the coriander, but the orange peel comes through too. That's what kind of gives it that citrus layer. Uh, as far as body goes, I kind of don't even know what's on your tongue. Um, it's very, very, very light body. It's a good beer. Um, I mean, yeah, I'm a little mad to see that after having let it sit in the bottles for a couple months that the head is just completely gone, but that's a whole other thing. 
All right, next is the henna pin. All right, so right off the bat, this is a much more well-rounded beer. That's got a very, very nice spiciness to it. Um, and a very complex palate. It has none of the fruitiness that that has. Um, however, I believe that this is not as dry. It does seem to have a lot more presence in the mouth. It's a lot fuller bodied. Yeah, so it definitely has a very strong yeast characteristic that that does not have. So the Y yeast, I want to say 3724 <laughs> was the number, but I used a uh, Belgian Saison Y yeast yeast in this. And Amagang has their own proprietary, like, super strain of awesomeness. Um, so, unfortunately, there is really no way to duplicate that. Um, but that is a very different yeast flavor, regardless, than this. And, um, I mean, between the two of them, I definitely prefer the professional version. Uh, it's a lot more effervescent. I'm definitely getting a lot less fruit in this and a lot more of the spices. Um, the ginger and the coriander especially come out very strongly. And they're not overpowered by the fruitiness. Well, it's good to always sample um, a professional version of whatever style you choose to brew. I think that kind of keeps you humble and allows you to kind of, if you really like your beer, I mean, I when I made this beer and I put it on the channel and I tasted it on camera, I said this is probably the best beer that I've ever made. Um, that still might be true. However, it's definitely not the best beer out there, you know, and it's important to stay humble. So, you know, be sure that you always grab yourself a well-made beer every so often, just to remind yourself that you're not top of the world, uh, as far as brewing goes, but also to give you a little inspiration and a little bit of a, uh, a reason to keep brewing and keep seeing how much better you can get. So I think I'm going to try and use a different yeast in the Saison next time. Um, so the, uh, the T58 dry yeast, um, Belgian style dry yeast, uh, gives off a lot more of the peppery uh, characteristics that I'm getting in here. So I think I might actually try to switch out that yeast and brew the Saison with that. Might not get as dry um, as, uh, as I did with the 3724, but there's nothing wrong with that. Because um, the Saison is a very broad style, of course. So I kind of want to start supplementing my brewing videos with doing a little more of these tastings and comparisons of my beer to the pros, just to see how everything kind of stacks up, um, just for fun, really. Um, nine times out of ten, my beer is going to lose that competition, but it's still interesting to see those nuances and um, see those differences and get an appreciation for what that style is. So if you like this sort of thing, please comment, like, subscribe, and let me know what your thoughts are as long as they are civil, and I will catch you in the next one.